Hello and welcome back to another playthrough of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our challenge run sets with another challenge run, the Choose to Lose campaign. I will attempt to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty and the idea of the Choose to Lose campaign is to provide a setting where underutilized items, innovative builds and niche characters will find its space I want to create an environment where it is a gritty and unforgiving campaign that will be exciting towards all stages, early, mid and late game. So I've modified quite a bit in order to get the right result. For those of you who are unaware, the details of the campaign modifications and the challenge are in the doobly-doo down below. So you can simply look it up. But in a nutshell, we are looking at an installation of a very limited amount of mods, a better advent and a better chosen with a better AI behind it. That should make a richer, more threatening and deeper thinking enemy environment where we're fighting against broader, more dangerous and more threatening enemies. On top of it, we're going to limit the skills and the builds quite a bit. We're going to always choose to lose i.e. taking the worst skill, we have no option to take the other skills and on top of that we're trying to um, limit the items that we can use a bit, so it's number three. A few of the more powerful and frequently used items like the Mimic Beacon, Blue Screen Rounds and Mine Shields are completely banned, whilst other items are limited to one per squad, making it more user-friendly and uh, hopefully providing a wider variety of items that we're going to see. On top of that, I took out the Psy Operatives and the Templar, so the strongest classes are off the board. We will start with the Skirmisher and hopefully also see a couple of Sparks, kind of getting that vibe of niche classes going. On top of that, I made sure that the hit point progression of all of the characters is severely hampered, so all of the hit points that you would get from the class have been halved, making it way more likely that in the end game characters will still receive a one shot and will still die. I hope that that of course is not going to happen too often, but I want to keep kind of an exciting environment where the AI hopefully has enough build up potential so that the end game is not getting stalled. I haven't looked up the ABA, so better advent mod in detail, so you and I will learn the enemy mod, uh, mods a bit together. And on top of that, I wanted one last info, which is the character pool. We have an addition of around 25 additional characters. I'm not going to go through all of them in detail, but you can pause the video and you can find each of you in that character pool. I've uh, made sure that all of these submissions have been recruited. If you want to be in future runs, this is the time, the very first video to put down your name and uh, you will be added for additional runs. Now, without further ado, enough waffling and let's get into the actual run. Legend, of course, and we're going to have a couple of extra items. We're going to start with the skirmishers and we're going to start with Grim Horizon permanent dark events. I will leave the grenades for now as is because I want to use some of the grenades and also want to showcase how strong they can be. So it's more an, a matter of me wanting to show to you how strong certain items can be, although they are maybe underutilized. So that is really it. I was trying to go uh, not only for an Iron Man, but for a look and feel that is very similar to a vanilla game, but more hardcore and wider in its variety of enemies. Let's jump right into it and have a good time. Good, we just joined the game and we got a few new characters. So first and foremost, we got Frodo here, Noah Frodo, the guy behind the mask. That is a new character. We got Wurtz, the... Uh, also a new character, I think. Ella Wurz Ergonova. We got Reckoner. That is our skirmisher and potentially the VIP of this campaign. I wanted to kind of use an 
skirmisher to play through that campaign, so he might be the one. And we got Jessica Jones, Jessica Rabbit Jones. She is an old time favorite who is just finding her way back in. Starting on low ground is never good, but we got some high ground over here. So that's why we're going to make our way all the way over here. Still got concealment, so we should be fine. Aggressively pushing forward. Very unlikely that we're going to spot someone out. My idea is to attempt to dash right to that building. I'm on the move. Frodo's taking the point position. Looks like a charm so far. And there is the first pack. What are we dealing with? Almost looks like a new type of enemy. All right, we're charging all the way up to there. Again, we want that high ground here. Closing on target position. Photo moves up. Wards follows. I reckon I could move to here and Jessica Jones Got it. moves to there. Heading there now. Photo takes the point position. Okay, we're in a good spot with that team. Not necessarily so much with Reckoner here. Okay, I'm not even seeing the description. Okay, some type of enemy. I think that was a normal... Fog of War bug. I hope so, at least. So if I haven't used any mods in quite a while, so I'm excited to play with with a bit of a fresh start here, almost. So Advent Gunslinger, that is interesting. Okay, never seen that guy. Uh, it sounds like he might be kind of an overwatch specialist or just specialist that has a higher aim. And we got an advent trooper. Okay, cool. Jessica here could go on to overwatch. I'll let, leave wards where she is. And Frodo could actually be the one starting to shoot this guy. Fantastic. We'll eventually not find out what the Gunslinger is trying to do. Okay. Good. Wurtz is moving forward. Be careful not to pull another pack. 90% shot, unfortunately a miss. We got another overwatch going for us. All of these here would give us an, a viewpoint for the drone, but not necessarily for the guy. However, the guy is still in the open. Good. So let's take the full cover here. It's not perfect, but it is full cover. 80% or 90%. Yeah, we're going to take the 90%, of course. Pulling him over. <laughs> nice. Good. There's the overwatch. Fortunately, another miss. Oh, wow. Disorientation just in the first uh, in the first hit. That is unfortunate. Good. 
We're reloading. Continuing to be on the high ground here. And that gives us yet another kill. Alright, moving up. Yeah, Reckoner's not looking good. That will be potentially 20 days in the mat bay. Not the worst outcome, but if we want him to be kind of the lead actor of this entire run, that would have been better starts than to than to get hit. One thing that I noticed is the enemy immediately tries to go for a flanking maneuver. Might be the drones that they are just intentionally moving up, but that was almost kind of a reckless move. Ports moves over here. Moving there. So a lot of blue moves. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. I hope we can get another Overwatch trap going. And hopefully someone has heard what we were doing. Yep, there's another pack right there. Thanks to the camera, they are well in range. And we can even see them. Alright, Overwatch on every single one. Let's hope they will be running into us. Now they're potentially not. That's a typical kind of standoff, standoff with Advent now. They know that we are here and they'll do everything in their power not to uh, get to us. Matter of fact, two of the packs have reunited here. This here looks a bit like the pack with the captain, maybe. Someone with blast padding for sure. Come on, guys. Okay, if we were to wrap up here, that would potentially not trigger anything. All right, worked, uh, worked out very nicely. Let's just overwatch and regain our cooldowns. I'm not expecting them to come, to be entirely honest, because they know that we're here, but I still want the cooldowns back. Difficult to break up that pack because we have two picks at once and we have limited engagement potential. Lots of half cover down here, nothing particularly great there now. moving there and triggering them they wow complete no shocker would have never guessed that we are now that we're fighting two of them right never all right moving over here Really just going for the flank. Gunslinger. Gunslinger is down. Fantastic. But we do have the high ground. I'd like to keep it that way. And if possible... If possible, let's just take this. Remove the cover. And from now on, it's hitting this guy and hitting him hard. Rabbit here, I think, is not promoted yet, so we're going to give her the promotion. And we'll just continue to overwatch. Ready to rock. 
reload, 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 and just overwatch. I'm almost sure that that uh, the next pack is not going to join. We're moving slightly over. I don't want to trigger anyone, but I want to bring the guys with the grenades into the front position. So same deal as beforehand. Good. We're, we know there is another pack there. No need to deny it. We unfortunately got to go through half cover, guys. That is less than optimal. The pack has now shifted. It's on the right hand side. Interesting choice of tactic. Good. Slightly moving together for a tighter formation. I don't think that they are going to move into us. Well, I was wrong for once. We're getting that full overwatch trap. Nice. So that seems to be kind of a stormtrooper type of enemy. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Nice. Okay, a couple of hits at least. In the same vein, how do we want to deal with those guys? This is 100% kill via a grenade. Moving. That officer is difficult to come by. But I think we're going with a 70% chance to just kill him outright. Fantastic. Great pull. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. I can already hear Valen saying, Come on, you gotta restrain yourself from using explosives. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That bitch deserved it. Alright, moving up. And I can show you how restrained I am with my explosives. Unbelievably restrained. Damn right. I'm on the move. Good, we're moving up and Frodo here. Smirks behind the mask as he finishes that last commander. Captain, rather. Stepping off. Good. We'll get some nice little loot over here. Stock is good. Hair trigger is okay. Got it. And with the exception of that one hit on Reckoner, we're actually doing quite well. It's an okay first mission. All right, here we go. Overall, slightly more difficult because the packs and their constellation were more difficult. But, I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know the enemies well enough, so I can't predict really their movement just as well as I could in the standard XCOM game. Okay. 30 days are you are you being serious all right reckoner needs to take a chill pill here roto is going to be a specialist fantastic 
Love it. Great. Jessica Rabbit is going to be a sniper. Okay, okay. And Wurtz is going to be the Grenadier. Not a bad selection for starters. Not a bad selection. Also got a little bit of loot. And we got some research items to go. Luckily, I don't have any penalties on research, so I can research whatever the hack I feel like. Let's start with modular weapons, because we just got a couple of weapon modifications. Makes sense to have modular weapons then. In terms of items building, I suppose we might want to build some of those once we are okay with supplies, because elsewise we can't use the grenades. In terms of building, resistance ring is a fantastic starting building, but so is GTS. And I think we will need quite a few, quite a few soldiers here. So we're going with the GTS start, classical GTS start. Loved it in vanilla, still loving it. In terms of soldiers, let's see whom else we got. We got quick feedback, fantastic. We got Toxic, a newcomer from Germany. We got Halop, repeating offender in each of our missions. We got Johnny Five Bravo. Oh, Johnny Five McMullen, of course. But yeah, he was in the last campaign as well. Zirkim and OG. God, why did I ever enable Anarchy's child? Like, those short trousers are just killing me. All right, we got hats. That is a new one as well. Right from Spain. We got Tracy St. Elliot. That's an OG. And we got Zoo Cougar. Damn, that, that guy looks like a cool cat, that's for sure. And a random rookie. I can assure you there are... I'm not sure why he drafts a random rookie. There are hundreds of better options than drafting a rookie. But it is what it is. Let me color code. Okay, now that that is done, we got Jessica here, Frodo, Wurtz, and Rackena. That is a good starting squad. We'll get more eventually. Guerrilla Tactics School in the builds, and everything is ready. Redford takes his typical position and will potentially inform me in a second that we gotta hurry because the aliens are advancing. I know, Redford, I know. Life's tough. I'll keep a few supplies around just in case. We can still use that in order to build something before the next mission. And we're being introduced to the skirmishers. Didn't really see what they were offering. Um, that was ultra fast. Okay, good. Rookies. Not the best drop to begin with. Matter of fact, I would argue one of the worst ones to skin. Magnetic weapons are available. But before we're going for a 63 days journey into the nothingness, let's maybe just maybe go for hybrid materials that could give us a vest. And since I wanted to use niche items, vests are going to be in this run. Damn right, guys. Mike Bravo just joined us in Xiamjing Shu. Let's see who just joined us. So we got two rookies. Xerang, that's a new viewer as well. I'm pretty proud of how that one turned uh, turned out. That is a... I should have potentially made him Japanese, to be honest. Like a real ex-Yakuza. But maybe he is a Yakuza that ended up in China for, for whatever reason. But yeah, I like that design. And we got Michael Public Bravo. And he looks like he came from down under. Just fought a couple of crocodiles before he joined us. We are continuing with an engineer. That is something that I can work with. Finally, the, the game is throwing us kind of the tiniest of bones. And before we can get the engineer, there's... 
another engineer. And the reason why I'm la laughing is mostly the protect the device mission. Whenever I'm reading that, there is kind of this immediate tension in my body that tells me, oh my gosh, what are you getting yourself into, Psychic? But yeah, it's a protect the device mission. So that's going to happen in the next episode. I am considering to maybe take a few more rookies into that next mission before we're Commander. actually going into the next mission though 75 hmm can't build anything here really we could start with a flashbang that's not a bad start might as well just use it why not that allows us to to even use two items. I mentioned that I won't uh, use any duplicates. Maybe I'll make an exception for the standard grenades because it's pretty tedious to get those out of the inventory. But yeah, as we're getting more items, you should see that there are not going to be any duplicates whatsoever. Good start. Uh, we certainly had an interesting gate crasher mission and I am beyond excited about that um, a better advent mod if you're excited as well please leave your thoughts in the comments down below i want to see a bit of hype so smash that like button and also leave your comment of uh, the series down below maybe you can do a little bit of a prediction how many of our soldiers are going to die throughout the entire run that could be a great question for a first mission take care guys and see you in two days okay bye bye